Introduction to Hydroponics 5. Hydroponic Watering System Water Quantity and Quality In almost all plant production systems, access to clean water is essential for producing high-quality horticultural products. Although this is always very important, it may become particularly important when there is a shortage of water resources. This leads to an increase in the cost of water or water purification, which is particularly important in hydroponic production because it is impossible without such production. Water Quantity The amount of water required is usually determined by the climatic conditions surrounding the aerial part of the plant and the number of leaves present on the plant. In the case of high humidity, insufficient light and high temperature, the water consumption is almost zero. Any production system must adjust the size of the irrigation system to accommodate the maximum water consumption. This occurs when the canopy is fully grown, the air is dry and hot, such as summer conditions, and there is a lot of air circulation, such as in a ventilated greenhouse. When designing and installing an irrigation system, it is important to be able to estimate the maximum water consumption, because an undersized system will not be able to meet the plant's needs and will cause production losses in the summer. Water quality When starting a new greenhouse operation, water quality must always be considered because inferior water is unusable and expensive and cannot be converted into high quality water. Therefore, growers who continue to invest resources to improve water quality have a competitive disadvantage than those who do not. The quality of water depends mainly on available water sources. This can be tap water, well water, surface water or collected rain water. Before using water, it must be analyzed to determine the baseline content of all minerals and ions, as well as pH and alkalinity. Without this information, it will be difficult to prepare the best nutrient solution. A complete analysis of anions and cations should be carried out, paying particular attention to the main quality parameters, especially the salinity, alkalinity and specific ionic toxicity due to excessive concentrations of sodium, sulfate and chloride. Root Environment in Hydroponics One of the main goals of hydroponics is to ensure a perfect exchange of nutrient solutions in the root area, so as to provide fresh nutrient solutions and oxygen as needed. In summer, when the plant consumes a lot of water, the nutrient solution passes through the substrate several times a day. During periods of low radiation, autumn, Water consumption is low and solution exchange is restricted. Increasing the flow rate will cause the root area to become moist, leading to hypoxia. Dissolved oxygen Hypoxia may cause many plant reactions, such as withering, poor root growth or even root death. In a closed hydroponic system with little water or substrate, increased water temperature in summer may cause root hypoxia. Oxygen is the final oxidant in a series of enzymatic oxidation reactions, releasing most of the chemical energy needed for root growth from sugar. The dissolved oxygen in the nutrient solution directly affects root function, especially respiration. Oxygen must be present in the water around the root. Hypoxia will inhibit root growth and nutrient absorption. For the roots of most plants, reducing dissolved oxygen levels below 60% will inhibit their growth. 
If the oxygen content in the nutrient solution is less than 2.5%, it will kill the root tips and stop growing. Oxygen Gradient For the design flow technique and flow rate, hydroponics shows a very different oxygen gradient. According to the design, there are three different flow technologies, vertical, horizontal, and vertical flow. To ensure that the roots have the best dissolved oxygen level, the oxygen exchange rate must be close to 100%. Deep Water Technology DFT, is based on oxygen dissolved in a solution and brought out through circulation. The root system becomes loose, so the solution can be exchanged easily. If DFT is combined with vertical flow, not only can the root zone be well controlled, not only the oxygen but also the waste, CO2, can be transported away from the root. Nutritional Membrane Technology, NFT, uses flow technology in systems with very thin nutritional membranes. When the roots enter the passage, they form a cushion, which acts as a barrier to the membrane and makes the water flow a few centimeters higher. Many authors describe the sharp oxygen gradient along the NFT channel. At the end of each channel, the dissolved oxygen content drops to 60% or less.